to uh, film on the water so i'm gonna try it and see if i can spot the jellyfish again so we got ourselves a new washing machine look at this beauty the boat just moves by wind still find it magical that you can sail around the world like this so we are in a little bit challenging situation right the engine stopped working it's the <laughs> we ran out of fuel of one fuel tank I don't know but yeah we're still uh, trying to get out of Greece to enter Europe so it's still dropping anchor staying the night waiting for good winds when the wind arrives sailing again until the next spot so we keep on going eventually we will arrive beautiful jellyfish are still here so I'm gonna take another dive with them later this afternoon and uh, we woke up and first thing we did was spotting the cauliflower jellyfish that's what they're called and then we saw this beautiful big turtle swimming around and just for a few seconds and when we grabbed the camera it was gone uh, but there's probably a lot of seagrass here so they uh, I think it's like paradise for them yeah, but it's a beautiful morning and Look at how beautiful nature is showing her art to us. Yeah, it's a good day. So yesterday I was feeling down with the sails and now I'm feeling very grateful. And uh, nature shows her best to us today. Yes, oh yeah, you found something, huh? It's broken? Me out. Oh, yes. A boat out. Boat, from boat, kaput. There's a little bit more wind and it's in the afternoon and then it's the best light to uh, film on the water so I'm gonna try it and see if I can spot the jellyfish again but it looks like they are not here anymore 
it so maybe i have to snorkel around a little bit and yesterday when i jumped in i was so nervous and scary at the same time i did test up front with my hand if it would sting uh, but still the mind makes up such beautiful things i still found it very uh very scary but um yeah i'm just gonna put my snorkels on my flippers jumping in and see if i can uh, find them again swim with the jellyfish we are sailing again and we just set up the sails and this means the hallelujah moment yeah. turning off the engine i think this is this i always find this the most beautiful part that you turn off the engine have the sails and that the boat just moves by wind i still find it magical that you can sail around the world like this yeah travel around the world yeah we only use the engine for anchoring and that's it yeah and get around the corner and then uh, you go for it so we are not going to Zakynthos today so we're going along the coastline because there is some wind here in the Ionian you really have to find the wind hopefully we will reach Kefalonia tonight and I did was still scary with swimming with a jellyfish <laughs> But it was really magical. Those creatures are so beautiful. I've always been a little bit obsessed by them when I was little. They have these beautiful colors and they move so graciously through the water and they can be so deadly. It's insane. But yeah, it, would, it made my day. yesterday evening in the night and in the northern part of a small harbor and we've been here before and it's like three years ago i think now or two but uh, it's really a small harbor and when you birth here uh, it's totally free if you just take a dinner or something with one of the local restaurants and uh, they are very nice <laughs> So you can 
and hectic so i made the smoothie but then we had to go upstairs because there was this huge ferry coming in and we needed to move so at this moment our view changed towards this because we uh, put ourselves alongside the cake and now i'm finishing up with the oatmeal breakfast and i just want to show you this this is I, the one i use it's a citrus press i use with uh, making a smoothie and i really love this one I, we bought it in simi i actually have here for honey as well it's made from olive wood and this cute little old guy made this all by hand and he sold them so uh, i couldn't resist to buy and they were a little bit overpriced but i don't care I, if you support locals that's the best thing you could do and Simi is really amazing island it has this it's a greek island with a lot of italian influence and if the borders weren't closed we would definitely have shown you because it's it's quite a magical place we've been there a couple of times and we even took some uh coaching clients uh, there as well and they really loved it loved it everybody loves it when you come there it's, it's like magic so if you're ever thinking about going to greece don't skip see me it's really beautiful so this is the end result um it's just almond milk with oatmeal and frozen fruits some nuts uh, some pumpkin seeds coconut flakes and a little bit of matcha powder and acai powder and uh, some raisins also two years ago Rihanna fell in love with an uh, or an elderly man fell in love with Rihanna when Benjamin was just uh, a couple of nine months old. Look. So probably it's possible to have a new and a washing machine. The local guy is gonna help us out here. I'm gonna take the old one out. And that's not easy because as you can see, we have to take this one out and I have to put the bed, Benjamin's bed, I put it up. Then we have to take this beast out. We have to make a special turn to put it on the lower bed to get it out here. I already put the doors I took it out then I have to put the profile here because it's it fits exactly 43 centimeters to take it out here to put it in the living and then put it out here so it's definitely a job to uh, to change the washing machine but I think we're gonna be very happy when uh, when a new one is installed to um, my friend Dimitris over here he's running a charter company bringing dozens of people to uh, shipwreck reeds every day but he helped us out so it would be great to have a washing machine again and we can um, use some multiple clothes okay. so we got ourselves a new washing machine look at this beauty yeah but now we have to get it down yeah get down on it Benjamin, are you gonna help? Yep. Okay. Go! Go! Yeah, I'm gonna help as well. What the hell? 
Yes, Papa help. So the beast is in <laughs> and now we have to uh, secure it because uh, when the boat is moving and when we are sailing the, the machine st has to stand on a solid position and of course it's not exact the same model so not the same sizes but I found a solution I attach it at the back with a big piece of wood I attach it to the back wall I put a, um, a strap around it and it works pretty well so if you can see i put the strap over here then i wrenched it but here we have a plate and i'm gonna screw four screws and i put it on the feet of the washing machine so then it's fixed i hope it works because uh otherwise it's the same as the last time to get it in and out just for nothing and that's uh, that's not gonna happen Polonia said goodbye to Sakitas to our dear friend Dimitris. He helped us out. So now we're gonna go further north. Probably we're gonna meet our friends from France. We're gonna sail together to Catalonia, but I'm not sure if they are still here around. And there we have our friends. too fast for us. We are lighter in weight than you. <laughs> yes, you are, you are. These guys are too fast for us, so we have to put some new sails on. Let's hoist the Jenneke! Yeah!
Well, Benjamin, are you ready? Yup. Yup. A little bit more than 10 years ago, I was really stuck in my job. I was feeling miserable, I had this 9 to 5 office job and was definitely not living in line with what I would want from life, how I would see life for me and definitely not my best life as we are living right now on our sailing boat exploring the world on magnificent places like this. But what I've done always from a very young age is being very busy and understanding what the mindset is, what personal growth is, why people are feeling miserable with everything and people who have little to none are feeling happy and most fulfilling and yeah what just makes life tick. So uh, with all those years and all those experiences when I got stuck rock bottom at my 25 years of age I took a hard deep look at myself and said okay I have some things to change about my life and then I started with learning what how you build a life to confirm what you want, how you can reconnect with your core, with your essence, what your purpose is, how you live with fulfillment and have actually success and a good life in every facet of your life. And not only going for that career goal or that success story, but just really being successful and living life. drop anchor or we go into a marina so now with uh, two three knots of wind this is our solution but we have a washing machine and that means we can wash the washing machine is working from the batteries so this is our washing line still moving uh, two three knots so that's cool and I think tonight we will uh, be at the north of Catalonia and then we are in a secluded bay because last night we had kind of uh, a swell so we were kind of rolling all night long but I have to be honest with you yesterday hoisting the Jenneker we even guyped with the Jenneker together with Vianna so that was really cool it was the first time for us but today it was a nightmare too there was no hard wind but getting the, the tube up and and down the, the ropes got stuck it got tangled around so it was really I think it took me two hours to untangle everything and to get the sail up so it's a, like a love-hate relationship with this sail to the future then preferably a code D or a code zero on the, the curling code zero that would be uh, that would be great because when Benjamin is uh, is around, 
just the two of us and the spinnaker or the janiker. Yes, it's um, then it's a lot going on. We are in a little bit challenging situation right now. The engine stopped working and we were over there and we needed to sail around this rock formation and avoid these rocks to get to the bay over there. Luckily there's a little bit of wind so we could put on the sails but um, it's not much. It's always challenging when your engine fails and uh, you still have to maneuver a bit before you are safe. Sailing in towards the bay, dropping anchor and just fix the engine. So, probably it's the... Uh, we ran out of fuel for the fuel tank. I just bleed it. Uh, the fuel pump to get the air out and hopefully that's it just check the filter filter is clean so it's not uh, the last parts of the diesel buck so hopefully this will work Rihanna can you start the engine okay it's working now uh, let's see turned out that these people, they are friends, the friends we met in Turkey. So I am creating my own uh, little uh, garden over here. 